Welcome back to another weekly update. It's week number five, and we got stuff to do. It's getting warmer out and getting closer to warmer season planting. Not too close, about a month out. But today we're putting our tomato trellis in. We built this in the last week, so if you want to see that, check it out. I'm also going to be coming out with a video here soon going over all the details on how this was made. So make sure you subscribe and check that out in the future. But I got my tomato trellis up here. I don't. It's a little tall. Um, I might cut some of it off the bottom a little just because – so the this, this piece I was – screwing in there on the bottom is where the bottom of the string will be to connect the tomatoes so i might need to lower it a little bit here are some potatoes i planted i think eight before of these purple ones that i'm planting right now and then i planted four yellow ones and then four idaho uh, just regular potatoes you get from the grocery store so I got a few different varieties, quite a few potatoes. This whole bed is full of potatoes, so should be be a pretty good harvest eventually. Uh, so here's the yellow ones going in. Planted them all pretty deep as it is early. Uh, potatoes can survive some frost, like down to 28 degrees. Uh, I looked at my forecast it looks really nice for the next 10 days, like 40s, low is, lowest is 40s. So we should be good to go um, for, for these guys. So hopefully they start coming up. And then I also planted some carrots. I planted two varieties. These are in between my peas. Uh, I had some extra space here, and I was, I was trying to debate what to plant here. Uh, and I thought carrots would be good. They're going to take a little longer. The peas will start growing and getting on these uh, trellises I built and just have some carrots grow in the middle of them. I, I don't know. Just didn't think it was a bad idea, so I did it. I planted, I forget what they're called, half Danvers, Longs, and then one other one. Uh... I'll put it I'll put it in the video here but yeah I just seeded them uh, pretty densely I'm gonna have to go back through them and take a lot of the seeds out didn't put them too deep uh, as you see I have pretty deep ridges here but uh, I don't really fill it up all with dirt I just put a little dirt over it and kind of keep that ridge a little because uh, they're really small seeds, so you don't want to plant them too deep. So I'm just covering up here. And then it actually rained this night, so I didn't even need to water them. Cleaned up some old dead foliage off of these uh, brassicas. we got broccoli and Brussels sprouts here. Uh, I have some more broccoli I planted. Uh, those three at the bottom here are... Uh, the one in the middle looks good. The other two, not so great, but I might plant a few more broccoli. I also have some cauliflower growing. Um, I haven't planted it yet. I could probably plant it soon, probably be in next week's update. So just clean those up and then got some greens out. So I got lettuce, spinach, and cabbage here that I'm planting. This whole bed is filled with lettuce. Uh, so I'm going to have lettuce out my ears, but I don't, I don't know. Um, this is the biggest garden I've ever had, so I thought I needed to get stuff planted, so I really germinated a lot of stuff and might have had too much stuff because I got a lot of peppers and tomatoes, and I still want to plant cantaloupe and watermelon, zucchini, cucumbers, uh, all those warmer season crops while these can get in a little earlier sometimes I feel like I can just fill up the garden too quick and um, kind of forget about the other things but 
I'll have to leave some room. Uh, I have some room. I think I should be good. I do have some more strawberries coming. Uh, I'll be planting some strawberries here in this video soon. Uh, so I got to make sure I have enough room for everything. And greens for this whole bed. I don't know if it's a good idea, bad idea. Uh, I'm kind of doing an experiment. So I planted some spinach, cabbage, and some lettuce directly in here. And that's why you see me um, taking some out to leave some leave more room for the others. I'm doing kind of an experiment in there where I direct seed and then the other ones are transplants. The direct seeded don't they're they're a lot smaller than the other ones right now. So here's here I am planting those strawberries. These are the ever sweet ones, I believe. And then I have another variety coming. Um, so this these took about the whole bed up. I have a little room. I can probably do uh, some beans or something on the end here. Uh, and then also where you see the tomato trellis on the end, I'll have some room there. But I might plant my grape there. So, yeah. So that's all I had today. Appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you to subscribe and stay tuned for some more weekly updates and tips and other videos. So thanks for watching.